Hello everyone and welcome. I'm the Retro Pair Guy. Today we're doing a review of Kiwit stuff. Now Kiwits, uh, you might know I am a little bit biased in the sense that they reached out to me last year and I said yes and they reached out to me this year and I said yes right away. Uh, and the reason is that years ago I bought myself a multimeter from Kiwits when I didn't even know who they were. Um, I've been using it every single day for the last couple of years. I fix all kinds of stuff with it. It is amazing, good quality, rugged and low cost. And last year when they sent me their fully automated one, again, um, I did a very honest review on it and I'll post it up here, but I'll tell you something. Um, I love their products and you know, this is a company that they make tools, they have a website, they have good customer service and it's not uh, you know, like they make keychains and clothes and then sell you these. No, 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 no. This is a company that they are a tool manufacturer, okay? And so when they reached out to me, like I said, I, I, I said yes right away. And mostly because, not for the money, because this is worth like $20 Canadian uh, and this is worth about $10 right now. But exactly because of that, because they're low cost and they normally build good quality stuff and they are very light, by the way. Um, so. Off the bat, I can probably just see um, just from the box that it's not necessarily something I'll be fixing my VCR every day with. I don't know, okay? Uh, I, I'm just saying it like that. But it is definitely something that I would have in a tool case uh, for as an extra and, and this too. So either way, I want to open them up. I'm going to be honest about the review as usual. Uh, but I do, like I said, love their stuff, which is why I've accepted to review it. So let's take a look. Okay, so we'll start by opening it up and uh, I see there's an old school manual in here, which I love. I actually like getting manuals. I don't like to have to go online and, uh, you know, fetch it and then go look at it on my phone. I, I really despise that. So I really actually like this. Uh, that's a plus for me. And oh, actually, this is a lot smaller than I expected. Um, it's the size of my hand, if you can see it here. Uh, but very interesting, very lightweight, very cute. Um, you know, right off the bat, I can tell you something. It's probably something I keep in the car. But anyways, let, let, let's, let's keep opening it up, see what else they give you. They even give you the batteries with it. And that's it. That's all that's in the Atticus. So let's put the case aside. Now, the case, by the way, um, what does it say on it? It's like down here. What does it say on the case? The case says that it's a smart multimeter uh, and uh, professional precision, safe, durable. Doesn't really say much about its features or anything else. Uh, and I can see uh, from the buttons, it's completely uh, automated. There's not uh, many buttons here. There's not much. So um, hopefully like the other one, we can select the mode anyways uh that will be either automatic or not so how about we go and put some batteries inside of it so again really nice that they give you the batteries you don't have to start looking for batteries you can start right away whoa there we go Let's put it back in. So very simple. You just need a little Phillips screwdriver. Now, one thing I really do like that I have on my bigger, more expensive multimeter and that was lacking in last year's um, uh, a fully automated one is this place to put your probes. Uh, this is really cool because, you know, for carrying it around, it's really a lot of fun to have a place to put your probe. It makes it so much easier and the probes are not flying around or getting broken. So I really, really appreciate that. Um, this is really good for a small multimeter like that. Really nice. Now I can see that the probes are not, they do not come out and they are not, uh, you can't change them. So I mean a plus or a minus, you know what? it's okay because it's a, it's a little unit that you want to carry around and that's another thing what if you put your probe somewhere else so i can't say it's actually uh a minus but we'll see right because sometimes the, the probes that come with it are not as good uh but we'll we'll definitely test it out so they don't come out this is one one thing right here uh then you know if one breaks then what do you do you can't just change one i've ne actually never seen a multimeter uh with uh, probes that didn't come out but might be good, might be bad. I mean, it's a little uh, meter, right? 
There definitely doesn't seem to be many modes on it, uh, but we're going to take it to the test bench and uh, take a look at how it reacts uh, because here I can't do anything or test it. But before we do so, I do want to, oh, I just want to open up. I'm going to open up this one as well, uh, which is the, uh, the little AC voltage detector. Okay, so the same thing here, just basic voltage detector. Again, they give you the batteries, you know? Seriously, for a $10 unit Canadian, which is what, like $5, $6 US, um, really amazing. Again, a nice little manual. Uh, you can see that they put care in their products. Uh, manuals uh, with full details, pictures, everything, uh, written in many different languages. I really like that. I really like the fact that they give you batteries as well. Okay, and uh, here, really nice pencil, uh, actually. Let's see this one, where do you put the batteries? Oh, very simple. Open it up with this. Boom, boom. You can put the buttons. I think I may have put the batteries upside down and I did actually there's a drawing right here on the slide. So sorry about that. So there you go. So the beautiful little digital display on this uh, with of course uh, the batteries that comes with it. So right off the bat, I have to say I'm very impressed. Uh, I can see there's also a light. Oh, even a little flashlight. So really cool. Uh, so again, let's uh, bring it into a test environment. I have my panel also around that's open. I, we can go to a test switch, anything. Um, let's go and take a look to see how it performs. Like most things today, turning it on and off simply requires holding the power button down for two seconds. The probes have little caps that can be removed to enable the probes to be inserted in the plug easily. Like the last multimeter I reviewed, it has no problem and detects the AC voltage very quickly and easily and has no problem switching from DC and detecting the DC voltage just as quickly. While it's mostly automatic, pressing and holding the first button activates a convenient little light for working in dark areas. The other button activates a lighted display which is great in both daylight and when working in dark areas. There's an NCV or non-contact voltage function, but like the last meter I tested, it's nowhere near as great as a separate tester. Continuity on fully automatic devices is always the same. It works, but there's quite a delay, which is not ideal for working on circuit boards. The live function only detects high or low AC voltage. If high, the display is red and shows an H. I'm not exactly sure why this feature is on the meter. Still in auto mode, the meter can also test resistance. I took out a 47 ohm resistor and the meter displayed 47 the first time, but then 46 and 43 the second time around. So I took out a higher value of 22 kilo ohms and the meter detected 21.8 right away. All in all, I would say it works pretty well. The AC voltage detector that KWEATS provided is quite sturdy and has a nice lighted digital display. Inserting it into an outlet detects voltage right away. However, when I first tried it on a cord, it was not responsive. It was then I pulled out the manual, which I was happy to have with the unit, and it says there are two modes, low and high sensitivity. Pressing the S button once changes between modes. And with the high sensitivity setting, it detects voltage easily from a power cord. Last but not least, the voltage detector also has a convenient LED light that allows you to work in dark areas. I turned off all the lights to show just how powerful it is. While these two units are very basic, they function really well and you cannot beat the price and quality of Kiwi's tools. These make a great addition to any handyman's toolbox or to perform basic tests at home or on an outlet 
or batteries or little jobs around the house or even to test for voltage and continuity when working on your car. So as you see, I kept the little stickers on. I didn't take them off, no slow motion music this time <laughs> because uh, I, I don't know, maybe I'll give them away, maybe I'll keep them. I have so many tools, but the thing is, is that it is a beautiful little multimeter. I'm really tempted to throw it in the car, but I have so many, I have so many multimeters, so many tools, so many things, and maybe somebody can use it, you know, um, around the house or something. So I'm definitely probably gonna look to give these away because like I said, I have too many tools, not because I don't like them, um, but I'm so tempted i love tools <laughs> so, uh, anyways but definitely beautiful something you should have around the house so lightweight so nice uh you know responsive boom 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 you you test your batteries test stuff around the house i would not obviously use it uh professionally for uh, you know uh, a panel anything like that you're doing with electricity but as a backup multimeter uh working on a car anything like that it's so lightweight it's so nice uh, and you know what do you need to work on a car here and there and test some circuits and and batteries and when whatever it's it's really fantastic you know uh i have to say and this too detects very well works really well there you go you see <laughs> so but anyways uh oh it just turned off actually <laughs> Oh, there you go. And you see what, what I always liked about it, it was the um, the meter also, it tells you how much. So yeah, I, I really, really do enjoy it. And uh, I just want to say a big thank you to Kiwi uh, for sending me stuff for review. Uh, please send more because I really do enjoy your products. I think you guys make great products at affordable prices. And the fact that, you know, like I said, they include manuals, the batteries, their packaging, everything shows care in their products and i like that about a company so i will continue to like kiwis they haven't done anything that i don't like so far so thank you again and i'll see you guys very soon with another episode thanks for watching bye bye